Hello there everybody and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope things are well. It is your girl Achola and today on Achola's Closet, I thought we'll talk spring summer 2020 fashion trends that I am currently loving and I hope you guys are as well. And before we dive into the video, if you are new, welcome here on Achella's Closet. We talk personal style and how to look and feel amazing at any budget. And for my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Now let's get back to the video. So, you know, after hours and hours of watching all the fashion shows, um, one of the biggest trends that I am extremely excited about is going to be corsetry or corsets um, of course corsets has been in fashion for ages now right and um, in history I mean I remember it from the movie Titanic and that was like way back but again corsets have been in fashion for a long time but before corsets used to be worn under gowns and all of that stuff so we didn't really get to see the corsets a lot however in this new generation corsets are things you can wear outside now and have fun with them um, but in this year for spring summer they are coming out in array of designs and colors you name them and um, during the award seasons of course, we've seen it all over the red carpet on celebrities such as Zendaya in this Vera Wang number. We've also seen Trulise Theron in a Dior number. Um, and then for the fashion shows, I've seen a lot of those corsets, like those corsets being layered on top of t-shirts, camisoles, blouses, even dresses, which I think is really fun because fashion is all about having fun you want to have fun with your clothing with the pieces especially if you're going to spend that much money on them right you want to be able to wear it in so many different ways that you're just like okay it's worth my money um but no i think corsets are fabulous and every woman should invest in at least one now i know they're not the most comfortable things to wear However, you can absolutely wear them with anything. You can use them under your dresses and gowns to give you that amazing figure a la Kim Kardashian, but that's a bit too extreme. Now, I can't, I can't do that. Um, I just, I love me a good corset piece. For me personally, I like to layer that on top of my dress shirts, blouses, I'm gonna try it over a blazer, see what it looks like. Hopefully it's got enough room to fit the whole blazer in it because I think it will be amazing. Number two that I am currently loving is going to be spring leather or faux leather. Now, one of the biggest misconceptions we have when it comes to leather is that it is just for fall, winter because it's so hot. However, these fashion houses are coming for our coins and they are making this leather as soft as possible and, you know, making it perfect for spring, summer. So you can still wear it and stay cool. You can do that in a top, you can do pants, you can do a skirt, anything you want. For me personally, I am definitely going to be searching for a nice color leather blazer and a trench coat I used to have a trench coat got damaged so I got rid of it now I need to replace it so I am definitely going to be looking for a trench and a blazer because I think those two pieces will literally go with anything in your wardrobe skirts as well I think it's a good investment to just invest in a nice leather skirt now pair that with a lace top I think it's just gothic elegance you know very chic very goth i can't tell you very stylish um but no i think leather you can wear it with anything in your closet now trend number three that i am currently loving is going to be the shorts suits i know they are not going anywhere now for me i have 
about four of these. I have white, I have the orange, I have a checkered yellow one, and then um, Prince of Will print black and white one that I really love. Um, now, these shorts, of course, they come in a different lengths from short shorts. I know all the way to the Bermuda shorts now if you are not comfortable with short shorts definitely do maybe the mid length that just comes maybe about four or five inches above the knee or you can definitely do the knee length shorts and that is the Bermuda and um, I think it's just beautiful hopefully your work dress code allows you to wear the bermuda shorts to work because i think it'll just be such an amazing look for summer now imagine that with just a t-shirt and maybe a wedge heel or even pumps i know do that with pumps a nice blouse and a full short suit i think it is such a cool and amazing look now moving along to trend number four that I am craving for and that is going to be the tropical print. Now if you are wondering what the heck is a tropical print, you guys remember JLo Versace dress? I know it's amazing. Now Versace is rolling that out in so many things from bodysuits to blouses to casual dresses to blazers, pants, bags, even shoes like sneakers. I'm telling you, I've seen JLo wearing one. I'm like, oh, those are actually nice, maybe. Um, however, if you don't have that Versace money, we've got lots of options, honey. Um, you just want to find something that's got leaf print. I know a leaf print or a tree print whatever you want to call it now mine here I picked it up from Hudson's Bay a long time ago now and it is by Jessica Simpson I don't know if they're still available anywhere but you just want something similar to this another place to go and take a look for this print is definitely going to be H&M now I have this cute short skirt here that I picked up at H&M about five maybe yeah about five years ago now actually no maybe six um, but no I just love this print and a lot of the times I like to pair the two of them together because they're the same print just different colors now if you guys are interested in learning how I pair prints comment below and let me know I can I would love to make a video on how to wear prints and all of that fun things because I love my prints and I love mixing prints. I'm a crazy person when it comes to prints. Um, another route to go is just investing in a good blazer. Now this one here, I picked it up from Simon's about a year and a half ago. Um, and I just I love 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 the print you've got the leaves you got the beautiful flowers and then they give me a bird as well right now if you can find something similar to that amazing if not that's okay as well you just want to find something that is leaf or tree print something like that now Moving along to another trend that I am loving that's going to be crochet. Now, when it comes to crochet, hang in there. I have my piece here that I bought from La Chateau that would have been maybe 10 years ago now, 10, something like that. Now, this piece, I love it. And I think crochet is the perfect number for summer because it will keep you cool yet stylish um if you are worried that it's got too much holes and whatnot a lot of the times those brands they will provide you with like a matching camisoles or matching cami slip dresses to wear under those pieces now while i was watching the fashion shows and all of that fun things i've seen some really cool designs on the marnie runway they've kind of just 
taken crocheting and make it really very cool stylish and expensive but of course if you are talented and you can crochet i mean why not crochet your own item you can do a beautiful crop top you can do shorts you can do a crochet skirt pants kimono anything you want baby anything and make your outfit pop and trend keep it trendy you know now moving along to trend number six that i am currently loving and that is going to be white suiting now when it comes to white suiting i know white is not the easiest color to wear but i always tell my clients whites are a one-time wear color because i wear it once and it has to go to dry clean or I wear it once and it has to go into the washer. That's just the way it goes. I can't keep my whites clean, so, but I still love white, okay? I think a full white look just makes you look expensive. Um, you don't ever have to put too much effort to look stylish. If you want to look stylish on a dime, stick with one of stick with monochromatic looks whether it's a full white look a full black look a head to toe red look head to toe blue head to toe green camel brown you name it i know tell me to stop but you get the point now back to our white suiting all over the runways we've seen white suits being paired beautifully now you can do a gorgeous straight leg pants with a matching white vest you know now it doesn't even have to be a full suit now does it you can do white pants with the white vest you can do white shorts with the white blazer you can do white denim white t-shirt white shirt you name it anything you want just a full-on white look is what you want to achieve it can be a skirt and a blouse or a gorgeous white dress with white shoes and white bag I know it's time to look rich and expensive even though we're broke but it's all good it doesn't matter now moving along to trend number all right I lost counts but the next trend that I want to talk to you about is going to be the wallpaper print you know I don't know if you've ever been to one of these old houses or do you guys watch those um, house flipping shows? They have these houses from like the 40s and 50s. It's got this ugly looking wallpapers all around the house. Sometimes they're beautiful. A lot of the times they're very questionable. Now, take that kind of print, imagine in clothing that's what we're going for and that is why they call it the wall print a wallpaper print now you can of course go crazy like me from head to toe right or just keep it minimal do one item a blouse a blazer can be the pants can be a nice full skirt like Celine Dion over here. I think it makes such a fun look. Have fun with the prints, honey, have fun. Now, moving along to another trend that I am loving and looking forward to, and that is sequins. Now, of course, sequins, when we think about sequins, we think about parties and graduations and weddings and whatnot, but that is not true. Sequins are now for daytime. I know we came to yes this is where we have arrived with fashion and sequin during daytime now for me personally I think we should keep that in the neutral colors right like the blacks the white the champagne color the gold I love me a good gold sequin number now, of course, you can do the sequin dress with sneakers for a casual day. Just make sure it's a little bit boxy fit. Not the tight, I mean, you can do the tight fitting one. And of course, with sneakers, 
it will still it looks dressy but yet very casual with the runners or you can do just a nice camisole like a sequin cami with that short suit or with that white suit that you are planning now i think that makes an amazing look for the office um another way you can do the sequin of course is i know i've got this very old vest from la chateau that's giving me ysl vibes now this of course i can layer it over a t-shirt and pair it with short shorts but of course with tights and boots or I can just do a beautiful straight leg black pants a black tee pop this on and add a blazer on top I think it still make a beautiful look or even just a blouse with a pussy bow tie I think will be really cute I know now the last but not least trend that I want to talk to you about is going to be pleats. Now pleats, of course, we've seen it in the last couple of season and pleats have been in fashion for a long time now. However, for this spring summer, we are getting it in everything from blazers to top and it's not just Ise Miyake anymore it's everybody from Balmain to Dior you name it everybody is bringing pleats back in a big elaborate way now you can do like I said you can do a jacket with a pleated de with pleats details you can do shirts you can do blazers pants skirts I mean, skirts is like the easiest way to do this, right? Very easy. Also, my uh, pocket dot here is pleated and I love it. Um, another way to do it is just by getting yourself a beautiful, simple cocktail dress. Now, mine here, I've had it for about 12 years now. But I just love it so much that I can't, I can't, I can't get rid of this. It's so cute. I wear it by itself or what I would do sometimes is just add a belt on it to cinch in the waist. Looks really nice on things like that. Now, when it comes to colors of the season, reds are massive. Of course, you can do anything from a dress to pants to blazer. Um, shoes handbag if you're not into any of that you can do a nice earrings that is red or right I have uh, uncensored from uh, Fenty Beauty I think this is such a gorgeous red another one of my favorite reds is by Maybelline New York I think it's uh, number 630 something like that but it's a gorgeous red and i love that red as well now another color to look for is going to be pink you also have the mint green um orange of course is huge again we've seen it everywhere and um yellow still on um neons are coming in big again now absolutely check out the neon like the highlighter the green height the yeah the green highlighter color that one has been everywhere but again you can do the neon in pink you can do a neon blue any color you want neons are in you choose whatever color you want i think i'm definitely going to be pairing the highlighter green yellow with the pink because i just think it, they mix they make such a beautiful combo and i think that's how i'm going to be rocking my neons this summer and don't forget the pantone color of the year and that is blue so yes lots of blues whether it's the denim or just blue everything honestly um classic prints that are still in and will always be in 
your polka dots will never go out of style and I love me a good polka dot overload like the one I'm wearing right now I know it's a little crazy but cheetah prints are still in as well of course I love me a good cheetah print number now Python like the snake print they are still in and I know we've seen it from for a couple of seasons now and they have definitely become a neutral thing you can wear it with anything in your wardrobe um, another print to look out for is going to be the zebra print now you can do of course a nice zebra print jacket a blouse a skirt for me I choose to do that in a pair of heels and I think it just add a nice pop of print to your outfit especially if it's an all black look or the all white look this is just beautiful now last but not least of course is stripes stripes are still going strong now you can do striped top striped jacket striped pants um, and it's not just a pin stripe print anymore it's a big bold stripe prints okay so go all out do your thing have fun mix those stripes with the polka dots just make sure they're both in black and white or they have some like the back the background color is the same some again if you would like to know how to mix the prints let me know I would love to do a video um, but that is it I hope you guys enjoy the video thank you all so much for watching give it a like if you like it and also if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for go on hit on that bell so you get notified every time your girl drops a video and with that you have a great rest of the day and stay safe out there um it's getting scary honestly i am scared um i'll work closed so it's first day home and the streets just look empty it's quite scary out here i just i can't but um yeah you guys stay safe out there and I will see you in my next video. Bye.